What I want you to do is start comparing your life now to your previous, I call it your previous life, the life before you got saved. And think about the things that you do different now. Hopefully there's a lot of things you do different. I know the people in this room, there's things that you do different now because we have soul winners in this room. We have people who go out and preach the gospel, which I know you weren't doing that before you got saved. And I'm sure there's many areas of your life that you've done a very good job of cleaning up. But what we want to do is be able to continue to go back and say, where else? What, what have I missed? What, a, what part of the old man is still around, is still kind of lingering around, and I haven't let that just die off. And I've just kind of kept carried this around with me, even though I'm saved, even though I've got the new man, even though I've got the spirit and I want to serve God, what kind of things have I just let and just kind of clung to and didn't let just die off and let pass away? We need to be very careful not to, to revel in our past maybe in some sinful days or wicked days or things that you used to do, it's, it's, it's not good for you. It's going to bring you back. It's going to draw you back into that flesh that you had. Unfortunately, a lot of people keep things. And, and one of the reasons why I'm even preaching is I went through some stuff. I was kind of clearing out some boxes in my, in my uh, office. And I'm, I kind of like, uh, you know, um, memorabilia. I kind of, there, there, there's things that I keep that are, that are just, you know, sometimes people give cards or whatever. There's things that, that I like to just keep around because I'm a, the word I'm looking for is sentimental. I'm kind of a sentimental type of person. You know, I, like, I like looking back and reminiscing on things and looking at things. But one of the things I found, I didn't even realize I had this because uh, when I got married, there's a bunch of stuff that I, that I got rid of. And I think that anyone, everyone that gets married, if you have anything left over from like previous girlfriends or boyfriends or whatever you had, that you need to just dump all that stuff, like probably even before you get married, but you know, definitely when you're married to someone and you've tied to not, I mean, you have no business holding on to stuff that, that you've, you know, shared notes or conversations or whatever, these cards with people that you had in the past that, that, you know, you had a romantic interest in. Because you don't need to go back later then and start thinking about on those things. Because it's not going to do you any good. Now that's obviously a point after marriage, right? And what we're focused on tonight is your, your, your point after being saved. But it's for the same purpose, right? Your point after marriage, why do you not want to look at that stuff? Because there's no reason to think about anybody else but your own spouse at all. And that's wickedness to go back and just go and think about times that you had with other people. It's wicked. And that's going to lead to more problems and it's going to be a curse in your life when you go back and start thinking about other boyfriends, other girlfriends, other people that you knew and, and, and thinking back on these things. You know what? Toss it in the trash. Let that die off. That all needs to pass away. All the, the old memories and the pictures, of, you know, get rid of that junk. You don't need it. You don't need to be thinking about it. You don't need your, your heart being drawn away from your wife. That's the last thing you need in your marriage. Similarly, we don't need to be drawn away from the Savior because of our our flesh and the lusts of our flesh drawing us into sin after we get saved. Don't revel in the things that you used to do. Now, you may need to, to clean house in order to get your heart right. And, and I would suggest this and consider this, you know, what, wherever your problem may be, because it's real easy now to find people on, you know, on Facebook, on social media, and to just look up, oh, I wonder how, how my ex is doing. You, know, you start thinking about these things. Again, the married people, you go back and you start thinking, about, oh, I'm going to go look them up here and look them up there. Look, it's way better just to delete the stupid Facebook altogether and to just, you know, if you think you have any issue with that at all, just get rid of it altogether. Chop it off. Be done with it. If, uh, you know, your yearbook or whatever, you know, whatever is going to be going to be giving you the potential to get back into some type of sin, whether it be 
the, this looking at other people or even just allowing trash in your house. Maybe, maybe you used to be you know, really big into watching a bunch of Hollywood junk that blasphemes Christ and that's filthy and that is just completely ungodly and you used to watch it and enjoy and get your entertainment from it. Maybe you've gotten past that, but you still haven't completely, you, know, you still have some issues with allowing things in your house. Hey, get rid of the TV. Get rid of the source. Cut it right off. 